people tend to be routine people. Doing the same exact thing every day, walking the same exact way, driving the same exact way. So what are you gonna do if there's somebody else that's actually following you, watching you do the same exact thing you do every day? This is Chris, the Game of Virtual Firearms Association, and as always, I'm always trying to preach about being safe, situation awareness, be cautious of your surroundings, gun safety, and things like that. Most importantly, our channel just wants you to be safe. Today, what we got in store is a clip of a 14-year-old girl basically walking home from school, and she was being followed and possibly trying to be abducted by a repeat offender. That's a whole nother story, the fact that He's a repeat offender, and he's already been convicted of doing something like this before. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and get it started right into this clip here. Kenzie Beach joins us live now. Kenzie, what do we know about this man? Well, guys, unfortunately, police say this is not the first time that 28-year-old Timothy Tan Guan has targeted minors. And we know that, you know, well, thankfully, this young girl, she reacted very quickly to this attempted kidnapping, stopping this guy in his tracks. The 14-year-old, a freshman at Raymond Kellis High School, always walks home and has never had a problem until last Wednesday. She's like, Mom, somebody's chasing me. That's when the mother of six, Valerie Frejo, told her daughter to hang up and call the police. Immediately, she began to sense uh, danger. You know, she started fearing for her life and she felt like something wasn't right. The near kidnapping was all caught on camera. The young girl made her way down 91st Avenue in Cardinal Way as she did every day. When a tan SUV pulled up behind her, a male passenger got out and slowly made his way closer. As soon as she felt like he was too close, she began running away. As the young girl sped up, police say 28-year-old Timothy Tan Guan went after her. The teen relied on her instincts running into her neighborhood and seeking help. She found a neighbor walking their dog who looked out for her, walked her home, and waited with her until her mother and police arrived. Guan is behind bars, but the effects on the family are long-lasting. There's days that she doesn't want to go to school, but we have to continue her education. Right now, um, we're just getting through it. Glendale police are urging parents to talk to your kids, stressing the importance of being aware of your surroundings. They also talked a lot about staying off your cell phone, and when you're walking by yourself, do not be wearing headphones. Now, Guan is being held here at the 4th Street Jail. Behind me, bond is set at more than $52,000. Live in Phoenix, Kenzie Beach, Fox 10 News. There's a couple things that we can take from just looking at this little short clip or short video as far as what was going on with this child that was walking home from school. One, just when it comes to anybody that's trying to do any kind of abduction or kidnapping, they're actually monitoring that person or monitoring the paths that they're actually are taking, whether they're walking, whether they take the same exact train, whether they're the, the, the same trail or things like that. They're always lurking in the shadows and they're always just watching to see what it is that people do. Now, for this particular video, it's a girl and she's walking home from high school or middle school, I believe it, or she was a 14 year old, so I believe that that's high school. And the problem with that is that there's only so many paths you can actually take to walk home. So it's like, what could she do with a, with, with a situation that's actually like that? She's kind of limited as far as what she does because she's a little too young to be carrying like OC, OC spray, tasers, and self-defense weapons that could have possibly been used to basically stop the stop the kidnapper from attacking her or even approaching her but one of the things that she did do which was phenomenal and fantastic was she called her mom called her mom and her mom said hey call the police and whether you believe that somebody's actually uh trying to kidnap you trying to hurt you or trying to get close to try to do anything to you that you feel is inappropriate that you don't like don't ever hesitate to call 911 even if it's a false call just the fact that they're called and they're on their way and people, when they, people see lights and sirens, they want to behave. They want to basically stop whatever doing or stop doing whatever it is that they're actually trying to do because that police or that law enforcement agency is actually on the scene to do what it is, what they're, what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. So what I encourage anybody, especially if you're young, um, of course, situational awareness. And if you're somebody who's 
in high school, there's strength in numbers. Find yourself a buddy or a friend or somebody local in your neighborhood that you basically you can walk home with so you don't have to basically do that by yourself. Strength in numbers. People are a little less inclined to do things when there's more than one person that's available. You always uh, They seem to always want to take advantage of the person who they deem as a soft target or a weak threat. So those are just some of the takes that I've actually picked up just from this video that I just wanted to share with y'all and preach to y'all just about some situ situational awareness. So you can maybe let a friend know or you can look at your own situation, your own child who's walking home from school or walks home from a friend's house and take the same exact path. There's always people that are watching that are out there. So just keep that in mind. Until next time, like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next week.